Society. This uh, little handy dandy tool is a very important part uh, of, of my ability to put the squares on the wall and have them accurate. This, a lot of you people would be uh, familiar with the uh, straight line laser beams. Well, that's what this is. And uh, so I'll just show you how it uh, works. It goes right on here. And you can see I can line it up with my marks. And, uh, and I can just press it there. And then I can, uh, oops, so I can adjust it so that it's straight. And I take my ruler and I go right along the, the, uh, the laser light. Just get it up there so it's accurate. And then I just draw it on there. And that's accurate. Now I go up and down this way, doing the same thing. Gives me a nice straight line, and I'm pretty accurate with it. Saves a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And I notice you have the wall all painted with the uh, my, my, gesso. Yeah, my f final coat uh, of gesso went on yesterday, uh, I mean Friday. And uh, it's a, a final coat of gesso. And that is what artists use as a base when they do oil paintings. Okay, then what I want to show you is on the reason for doing the grid is on here I have drawings of each of the elements that are on the uh, drawing. On uh, slides. Uh, like the golfer. Mm -hmm. And so I've done uh, drawings, line drawings of the golfer, and I put them on slides. Now slides uh, are then projected up on the wall, and you can see where the grid comes in in relationship to the drawing. And there's the golfer, and if you count over, one, two, three, four, five, six and a half. That's where his head should be. And then up and down, if you count here, down four. One, two, three, four. And you'll see that the, his cap is right just about in the right position. And so that's how big the golfer's going to be? Yes, and each of, wow. these, yes, each of these elements are, are drawn in line so I can project it up on the wall. Mm -hmm from my drawings. Terrific. And